school this morning and sometime very soon. I edited it and then I tried to post it and it took a very long time. So I don't even know whether this internet is coming through to you because it takes a long time to upload things. But hello anyway. Uh, this doesn't have any dinosaurs in it, but if you are in the mood for sort of dinosaurs, then go to see my Crystal Palace video, which is now up. I was going to say live, but this is live, except if it's not live, if you're seeing it after the fact. But it is live now while I'm doing it. So that's that sort of thing. That's the sort of thing that I'm talking about. What am I talking about? I don't know. Anyway, hello. Yes, so I'm going to see the Crystal Palace video, which apparently is the first video that's not a live video that I have posted in two months. Almost two months. I didn't realise time has gone. I've made lots of stuff. I just haven't got around to editing it because I've been very busy indeed. Uh, but next week I'm going to Wales. I'm not sure what day. And then I will be going to Edinburgh at some time after that. And then I'll be going back to work probably in September. But at the moment I've only got a couple of days left. And uh, yes, I've just washed my hair so it's a bit wet and and weird and it's getting quite long but oh two people hooray so have you seen my uh crystal palace dinosaur thing yet ah the dinosaurs uh, they were they're a little bit overgrown difficult to see i think maybe in the winter or they they haven't really get kept up with the upkeep i think they've had a two million pound grant in order to restore them but they certainly haven't done it yet so maybe I'll go back when they've done that and I can actually see the dinosaurs. I was looking it up um, and apparently uh, up until about 20 years ago you could go and onto the actual island and touch the dinosaurs. But there's been so much vandalism there that uh, they just decided not to do that because somebody stole uh, a tapir thing and oh, knocked its head off I think. And, uh, and a few of the dinosaurs have gone missing. Hello! Evening Midlands Coach. Yes, one of my dinosaurs is missing. Many of the dinosaurs are missing because people are terrible and they just uh, can't leave their, can't take their grubby hands off things. They just, uh. so I've lost the person already. But hello Midlands Coach. So I still got one of you. So hopefully you'll stay for a little while. Yes, so um, so yeah, I posted that video and it's, it's quite a long one. It did take a long time to upload and I've still got things that I need to upload. But I'm just like having a think about whether I... I did not get to that because I have been very busy. I haven't got many days free to get anywhere. It's just on the weekends and I yesterday I had a sore throat. So I didn't do anything yesterday. I was supposed to go to a party but I just felt so ill. I feel a bit better today but I've still got a bit of a sore throat. But... Uh, <clears throat> and a cough but it's better than it was so hopefully I can see this through although I, I can feel the frog in my throat and uh, it's a little bit so no I didn't get to the Horniman's Museum maybe maybe another time I mean it's not in the same direction so I couldn't do both at the same time because it took quite a long time to get there because I'm in North London and Crystal Palace is in South London and it takes several trains and buses and boats and planes and all sorts of things no boats and planes um, yes, and I'm still lost in the maze anyway if you watch my thing, so uh, well worth a visit. Well, I will go and see that now, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to film that because um, at Crystal Palace there was a museum and there was specifically no filming in this museum, it said. You can't do anything, you can't, you can't do any shooting, well, you can't do any shooting in there, you can't do any filming in it. So, uh, oh, good. Um, so, uh, Yes, it was good. Um, amazing video. What's an amazing video? My video or just any video, somebody else's video. There's probably an amazing video somewhere. Um, probably not mine. But uh, yeah, I've got to try and work out what sort of videos I'm going to make in the future because I've been looking at loads of things. There's loads of conspiracy theories. They're very popular. And political ones, they're very popular. And all oh, the, the deep dark history of something or others, they're very popular. And oh, what people did in the whatever eras they're very popular and a lot of people just doing makeup so i've got to work out what my unique special thing is because i've never really worked that out i'm not sure when people do watch my videos what they're actually and if they subscribe they're probably like oh well that video is not like that other video i have honed it down a little bit that i'm just doing travelly videos lately but do people want those i don't know and i don't and the the vegetable videos were very popular at one point but then every time i've done them in the last year or so but um oh thank you um they're infrequent so that sort of thing well i did that with them um, 
what was I going? Anyway, the vegetable videos are infrequent, but uh, they're not very popular anymore now anyway. So, uh, the Mornington Crescent one was probably, that was the two, I did two things with Anna Black, that one and the rock, paper, scissors one. And she had the idea for the Mornington Crescent and I had the idea for the rock, paper, scissors one. And I was supposed to edit the rock, paper, scissors one, but I went home to visit my mum and she, in a bit of a snit, edited it instead. So... So I didn't edit either of them, but it was my idea for the rock, paper, scissors one. Um, but it was so, so we both made a video each with that, but then she ended up doing all the editing. But we sort of co-filmed it. So yeah, that's a collaboration. So maybe I should do more collaboration videos because that's quite good. The cab, the collabor, the cabaret, the cow, cal 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 the ca collaboration cabaret, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I should probably collaborate with more people because that's the way of the future. And uh, and it's always good to, to have somebody else's sort of uh, opinion and um, input and so that you've both got something going into it. Yeah, a lot of the ones where I'm wandering around with somebody else seem to be quite good or uh, doing something with, you know, if I'm just on my own, it can get a little bit... Um, so I like doing the live videos because there's someone there at least one person there usually and there's at least one person here three people here so so I get a little bit of a sense of interaction whereas if I'm just talking to the camera that a lot of my blogs I'm trying to do you're not keen on my comedy ones <laughs> yeah well yes that they're not comedy obviously um no well sorry about that but um comedy is a subjective thing isn't it and uh I would have thought the Mornington Crescent one is supposed to be comedy but uh you know who am i hello hello michelle i'm home next week we must meet up for a coffee michelle we i keep saying that and i never do i'm home for about two weeks next week so hopefully uh, michelle friend from home we shall meet we shall meet somewhere over the rainbow way up high hello hello steve so that's three people four people i've got one person who hasn't hasn't talked to me but yes what I'm saying is it's less clinical if you've got somebody to talk to I, I quite like talking straight to the camera but um I I seem to have done so many hundreds and hundreds literally hundreds and hundreds that now I'm oh it's all slowed down that now I don't know what what else is there for me I'm at the end of my life at the end of my terror oh, hopefully not um that's a bit grim isn't it but I, I've just you know I'm just like oh what is there like, uh, oh, yes, I, I'll tell you what, I, I haven't, I used to paint and draw a lot when I was um, younger. And then I, after my A-levels, I didn't do very well in my A-level and I sort of gave it up really. And so I've infrequently drawn. But because I'm working with little children and um, they do craft and art, I, I, um, I, I sort of joined in with them this week. They were supposed to be doing crafts and art. How's the jewellery making going? I haven't really got round to that yet. I should do that, shouldn't I? But um, I'm hopeless. I found a book of... Oh, uh, where am I? Uh, sorry, under the bed. So so as they were doing a painting of, uh, of a person, they were doing portrait painting. So I did a portrait painting. I think it came, it came out quite well, really, considering it's not the best thing in the world. But, you know, it's with oil pastels. It's better than the four-year-olds were doing, but then they're four-year-olds, so that's inevitable, isn't it? Hello! You said you wouldn't be there. Hello, Philip. Uh, Crystal Palace is up, and so are you in that, in, in that you are in it. Um, but I found this, I, maybe that's not the best in the world, but I was looking at this book, which is some of my A-level work, and I was thinking, I wasn't very good at A-level. No wonder I didn't do very well at it. I think I got an E, because it's terrible. I mean, it's not, that's a tree. You can tell it's a tree, I suppose. That's a hand. You can tell it's a hand, but it's not exactly inspired. It's a bit sort of, yes, you can draw a hand and what, really. So I'm, I'm like, I was looking at it and I was going, oh, this must be my GCSE work. This must be when I was doing that because this is like 14 year olds work. And I'm like, no, I was like 17. It's like, oh, it's pup. Um, to be quite f oh, this is my grandmother that's not too bad i suppose she looks a little bit lopsided though um yes artist it's, it's all right that's my oh uh, that's my uh my dad's cousin may she passed away this year it's very sad but uh, that's a long time ago 
Oh, look. <laughs> Copyrighted. So, it's the backwards, but that's a, sort of inspired by Andy Warhol's soup can. A packet of crisps, Golden Wonder crisps. You can tell that's from a long time ago because they don't really make Golden Wonder crisps very much anymore. It's all Walkers, which is, uh, I think, Lay's in America, but it's the same brand. Well, that's quite nice. I was going to do etchings. The trouble with, so I did the, the thing for etchings, and the trouble with my etchings is I did them, you have to etch them, it's, uh, yeah. so I did the etchings, I know, but I was trying to do A-level, so obviously I didn't do very well in it, but I think one of the main reasons is I did those etchings, and I had all the plans, and I did, and it takes a lot of time, and you have to etch it into the metalwork, and then you have to put it in acid, and the person that was doing, who was teaching the class, Yes, the person who was teaching the class, they're the designs for the etching, the actual etchings, the person that was teaching the class put them in the acid bath, but he, there's two sorts of acid bath, there's one that etches a little bit and there's one that just eats all the whole thing away, and he put it in the one that ate the whole thing away. So I spent ages on the etchings, and they were just basically a big pile of ink, I mean, I was, ugh. So, and that was my coursework. And he forgot to submit some of the coursework, he forgot to tell us about some of the coursework, he was barely ever there. And we were supposed to be doing art history. He decided he wasn't going to do that. So it was like, uh, yes, etchings, yes, exactly, Philip. It does, you know. <laughs> so um, my etchings were just a, a load of rubbish. And my coursework was very, very half-hearted. And I hadn't learnt any art history. So when I went into my art history part of the exam, because um, the art teacher wasn't there and he messed up my coursework, didn't teach us art history, and so I knew nothing and I just had to make it up and I was like, I don't know any of this, so I'm going to write about, um, I think there was a, a, an Annunciation um, sort of portrait uh, by Fra Lippo Lippi, who we hadn't studied, but I knew who he was. So I was like, this is Fra Lippo Lippi, I know who he is, can I have a mark? Ah, I didn't really get much of a mark. So that was terrible. And I also found, so I'm talking about being creative, not being creative lately. I also found my coursework from when I was doing journalism. That's, you can't really tell because it's backwards and it's also, but there's all like, because I was, I did um, work experience. And uh, so I did work experience when I was doing my course. There's, you can't read that. That says, uh, Edgar's wartime mission complete. All about somebody that, I don't know, he lost something and I can't remember what it was, but I was there for about two weeks doing the work experience and then I was working at, that was at the Gwent Gazette and I was working there with my good friend Julian Meek, who um, who I recently, fairly recently, uh, touched base with again. So, uh, you know, an old friend I hadn't seen for years and then, and then I, uh, the power of Facebook and the internet. So, sorry, I'm just trying to get my shoe on here. Uh, yeah, so I've... I've stopped writing things, and I've stopped drawing things, and I've stopped being creative, and it all feels a little bit like uh, I need to do that again. But I'm not sure, oh, sorry, that's the wrong light, I'm not sure really how to go about doing that. It feels like I've done lots of things in a tiny way, but not really geared myself, not really been amazing at anything. Like I've tried a lot of things, like I've been in rubbish horror films, and I've been I've been on the same bill as famous comedians, and I've been on the telly, but nothing that's, it's more like a sort of ticky box. It's like, yeah, I've done that. Do you want to do it well? Well, I've done it. I'll just move on. So that's, my, my whole life has been a bit of a bucket list. I'll do that and move on. Do that and move on. And I'm like, well, just do it until you're good. It's like, no, I'll just do it and move on. Why should I do it again? I've already done it once. So I need to work on things. And it has been said to me all through my life, you should probably concentrate on one thing at a time. I like, no, life's so short. I have to do this and this and this and this and everything. But the trouble with that is um, you can't be good at everything. You have to work hard to be really good at some things. You can be sort of all right. So I, the trouble with me is I'm sort of all right at a lot of things, but not amazingly great at anything. So I need to find something. Is it too late? I don't know. I can't retire until I'm very old because of the pension system in this country. But focus, I need focus. Yes, I do need focus, that's true. But I'm, I'm focused on things sometimes and I focus on the wrong things. And then I spend ages focusing on them and I go, that wasn't very good, was it? That didn't work at all. So I have spent a long time focusing on some things and just to no real avail. I don't know whether I needed to stay with it for a little bit longer. But it's like when to get because I did drama um I went to a youth theatre when I was 13 and um 
I was cast um, as uh, Sheila in an Inspector Calls. And I was a fat little kid. And, and the person that was running the youth theatre was horrible. He was basically horrible. He had this one thing, I probably said it before. Yes, yeah, a gin of all trades. He had this, um, he made us all lie on the floor at one point and said, imagine, so he was trying, we're going to do method acting. Imagine that you're, you're getting um, hurt in the hand with, imagine a match. Imagine, I'm going to come around and touch your hand. And when I touch your hand, you're going to feel it. And he went around and he actually did get a match and burnt my hand and I was like my god it's amazing he's like ha 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 I actually burnt you with a ma match that's how horrible he was I was 13 he just and I he he cast me as Sheila as an inspector calls and then was really horrible to me and I um because I'm it was Christmas um it was over Christmas I put on a tiny bit of weight like and so my costume didn't quite fit so he was like ah you're so rubbish you're so terrible and he was trying to get me to give up so he's like the trouble with you Elise is you don't give up I'm like, oh, that's that's a good thing. He's like, no, because he wanted me to give up. And then in the end, I did. And the trouble is, I gave up and I was just, I pretty much broke down because he got me so much. And also, I was, I'd, I'd got a bit of confidence. So I got a bit of confidence. And I'd also been cast in um, insect play in my school. And I was like, yay, I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to be a famous actress. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be great. And I was at the lead in my school play. And I was the lead in a play that my mum was doing at the local um, drama group. And I was the lead in the, uh, the youth theatre thing. And then I lost the part in the youth theatre thing. And I decided that I was also, I must be terrible. So I gave up my part in the, in the school school play as well because I was like well I'm useless then no point and my my friend um my friend got the main part and I ended up having like one line as a sort of random end and I felt really really horrible and sick of myself so that sort of destroyed my confidence there with the acting and I've been sort of like baby steps since and that's a long time ago obviously 13 obviously I am not 13 anymore so I should have got over that by now, but I've never really got over things. It's like, it's like, it's a crucial time in your life when you're 13. And I was starting to get a little bit of confidence because I had glasses. I was a little bit fat, a little bit sporty, um, bullied a lot. And I just wasn't really, and it was just about that time. That I was starting to come out of this sort of fugue state and, and start to be like, yes, I know what I'm going to do with my life. And then it all just got ruined and I was just, horrible and I've never really recovered from that but there's other there's other things in my life that I've messed up but to be honest I think the rot started when I was four when I got cast in um I got cast in a in the school play when I was four um and I was the uh, the wicked stepmother or was it Sleeping Beauty I don't know what it was yes it was Sleeping Beauty and Susan somebody or other got cast as Sleeping Beauty and I was the wicked witch which was a better part but I didn't see that at the time I just thought because I was always being accused of being naughty even though I don't think I was but um and uh, so even though I got a great part it was because I was naughty that I was cast as the witch that's what the teacher said so I felt aggrieved at this so um so that was and then the next year um, somebody had been cast as uh, the cat in um, Pussycat, Pussycat, Where Have You Been? High level of art with these. And, uh, and they weren't very good. So I put my hand up and said, I'll do it. And then when everyone came to see it, they all laughed at how cute it was. But I was just like, they're all laughing at me. And I ran off the stage. I don't think I've wet myself, but I ran off the stage. And I was like, and I haven't really recovered from that either. And then... Um, and then the year after that, I was like, now I'm ready to, I was five or something. It was probably only about four months after. These seem to have all happened. Maybe we were all re always doing plays. Anyway, um, I was cast as a Christmas card and I wanted to be an angel. It must have been a Christmas play. I wanted to be an angel, but I was cast as a Christmas card and I thought that was stupid being a Christmas card. And I wanted to be an angel, but I was told that I couldn't be an angel because angels are blonde. And so I haven't really got over that. So I've got a lifetime of resentment, low level resentment. And I, I need to get over myself, really. So I'm, and this is why I think psychologically, this is why I've never been successful. Yeah, it's just a load of old excuses. I basically, I mess up a lot and it 
haunts me. I know when I was about 12, I used to lie awake at night thinking of all the terrible things, all the things that I'd done wrong. At 12, all the things I'd done wrong. Like, I also, I joined the, 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 this is like a therapy, isn't it? Also, I joined the Girl Guide and um, my mother had made a load of Christmas decorations like really nice ones like uh, Mr Men ones and all they were all really good sort of made of cloth and I lent them to the girl guide to put on the Christmas tree and they packed up the Christmas tree and packed up all of these all of them every single one of the Christmas tree ornaments and stuff including the ones that I lent to them now my mother for months afterwards we go you shouldn't have done that you should have got them back so I was like no so I went around the the girl guide's um leader's house once and I said oh can I have my Christmas and this was yeah ages later can I have my Christmas ornaments back she's like no I don't know where they are so I was like so I would lay awake at night because my mum was like you should have got the Christmas ornaments back and I was like no I didn't get the Christmas ornaments back and I was like about 11 I was like no oh it's a terrible thing I and I was just I would just go and then there's another thing I did and then no oh, one and, and that other thing happened so that's who I was at 11 so that when at 13 I started to get my confidence back and then that happened it just sort of crashed it all again basically I'm a psychological mess but you know I should have got over it it's a long time ago but these things shape us don't you don't they don't you don't they uh yeah they do shape you so I need to sort myself out and put my best foot forward and work on the second half of my life being amazing and better than the first half of my life. Yeah, that's that's what I need to do. So, yeah, so future, it's gonna be amazing. Ooh, I've gotta think what to do. Like Grandma Moses, what, she was like 80 or something when she started doing painting. She got successful, who else? Um, Uncle Albert out of Only Fools and Horses didn't take up acting till his 60s and uh, Margaret Rutherford wasn't in, she didn't start acting until her 30s and she wasn't in a film like the first film that she was in was I think um, when she was 49 as uh, Madame Arcati in Blythe Spirit you know and she went on to be Miss Marple and everything do you know who Margaret Rutherford is? probably not you young'uns look her up anyway a lot of people. Susan Sarandon. I know she was in the Rocky Horror Picture Show when she was in her 20s, but she didn't really get famous until she was in her 40s and 50s, did she? So maybe there's still hope. Maybe. Oh, that woman that was in EastEnders that played the grandmother. I can't remember what her name was. Um, I think, oh, I know. Anna Wing. Anna Wing. Yes, whose, whose son was Mark Wing Davy, Davy, who was in... He was Zayford Beeblebrox in the TV version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes, she didn't get famous until she she was like, they, I remember, Lou Beale, exactly. It's like she was friends with, um, with uh, I want to say John Hurt, but what I mean is Quentin Crisp. John Hurt played Quentin Crisp. She was friends with Quentin Crisp back in the day, and he didn't get famous until he was later either. And she became famous from playing Lou Beale in EastEnders when she was older as well so maybe Quentin Crisp and Lou Beale and um and there yeah these are my role models and Margaret Rutherford I, I used to say ages ago you know even when I was a teenager that my I wanted to be like Mar Margaret Rutherford my mum was like but you're far too pretty to be Margaret Rutherford I'm like that's not what I mean I, I mean I want to I want to have a long career later in life really yeah Mark, Mark Wing Davy. Mark Wing Davy is not Mark Lee Wing. He's a different person. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to the people on the side. Uh, yes. So I need to find something that I can do, that I can do as an old person, what with the state of the country in it as it is. We all need to find something that we can do late in life and be good at because we are never, ever, ever going to not be able to we're never going to be able to retire really so what can I do I'm going to need to work on that <sighs> I don't know is there anybody left three people I've lost some people I've lost you already <laughs> they're dying like flies dropping off as I speak but this hasn't cut out yet so that's something 
24, 25 minutes and it hasn't cut out. It's a miracle, especially since my internet's cut off about four times just today. Still here. Amazing, isn't it? So, as Chumbawamba said, yes, exactly, Giglin's goat. Yes. I don't know. I've, I've, I've missed some of these things, I think. I think, yeah, sorry if I haven't replied to everybody. Yeah, I saw somebody that was like getting 20 quid for, for comments that they were talking about. It's like that. Well, they did have like thousands and thousands of comments. So the only ones that were standing out were the ones that they paid him for. See, you're getting this for free. Think yourself lucky. Although, you know, there's only five of you and, and there's millions of his followers. I haven't got amazing followers. I've got, I have got amazing followers, you're all amazing, but I haven't got an amazing amount of followers. Like I saw somebody's video today and they had 2 million subscribers and I'm like, wah, 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 how did they get that? I still, YouTube is a mystery to me, a misery to me and a mystery to me. I'll work it out one day, maybe. I'm, I, I'm feeling that I've fallen foul of the, al fallen foul, there's alliteration for you, of the algorithm. Quality, not quantity. Yes, you're all my 4,031. So I had 4,032 4, subscribers this morning, but my 4,031 subscribers might be less now. They're the best. Everyone that comes later, yes, because I'm going to build up. I'm going to have millions by the end of the week, probably. But my 4,031, they're the best. They were there at the start. Yes, Mark Wing Davy was there for Beeble Box. I know. I know, I said that. Anyway, on that note of victory, I will I will leave you. And um, hopefully I will, well, I don't know whether I'll be in Wales next week. I'll certainly be in Wales the week after, I think. I don't know. But I will see you and I will try and get more videos out. If I can work out what I'm doing with my life and with my videos and with everything. All right, so I'll see you soon. Have a lovely rest of the Sunday and bye-bye. Unless you're in Australia, in which case, is it Monday already? Anyway, I, I wouldn't have thought you'd be watching that early in the morning. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>